I'm making this video because I've seen a lot of videos about ace locks. Uh, but occasionally you encounter these ace flex locks. They were used on vending machines in the 60s and the 70s. And they're rekeyable. I didn't, I've had them for years, but I didn't figure out till today how, to, how they work. If you look right here, there's a little hole. You also notice that it's, you have a second uh, notch. That's so you could take the key out. This particular lock I did not have a key for, but I was able to pick it and then make a key. So this is the key I made. Put that in there. And you'll see that it'll, it'll turn, but it won't turn far enough to make it to that notch so you can take the key out. In order to get the top off, what I've done is got this little piece of 18 gauge wire, stick it into the hole, get my pair of pliers, it's a little hard to do with one hand. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this one hand, let me put the camera down for a moment. What I'm doing is I'm pushing in, I'm turning the key at the same time. It's a little bit tricky to get it all lined up. Pull it out a little bit there. I'm not feeling the springiness. It is slightly tricky to do this. Okay. No, I still don't have it. Try taking it out of the vise. Probably be easier with a piece of iron wire or a special tool, maybe a pin, but I don't know if I have to okay, I think I got it. It is a major pain. That's why I haven't really ever figured it out till today because it's just such a pain to get it all lined up. So I can actually oh, got it. Get it back in the vise and then I'll show you. Okay, uh, you'll see now that it's lined up. And if we wiggle this a little bit, you can take the key out, take our little piece of copper wire out, and the entire top comes off. Now where this could be helpful, let me uh, get it out of the vise and put it on the table. Show you that we got the little pins in here. Takes a second for my camera to focus. It's a little bit older, but you can see you got all the pins in here, and you can see what heights they are. I was a little bit off when I picked it on some of the cuts. I'm going to show you the first key I made. My, I'm using my depth and space keys. To get it on there. Let's see, it's a little bit of a struggle. Okay, let's see if you can zoom. If you'll focus on that now. Get some more light over here, maybe. Yeah, my camera's not focusing. I want to show you I was off on one of the cuts. Yeah, I definitely got to get a camera with adjustable focus. I could show you guys this a little bit better. Maybe like this. You can go around and check to see how good your key is by looking at the spaces. See how well they match up to the pins. You can see on this one, if the camera came into focus, that one that cuts a little bit too deep, so this key works rough. The rest of them are okay. So after I made this key, I corrected 
my cuts a little bit. I made this key, which works much more smoothly. You can see it lines up nice on all the cuts. Now if you want to put it back together, it's pretty e a lot much easier to put it back together than just to take apart. Just go and put this on like so. Actually, you can put it vertical right there. It's easier because if you look at the uh, notch on these, they're all uh, standard cuts. You just line it up with the notch here, and you'll know you're uh, putting it out, putting it on upside down. Slides back together. Put your key in. Uh, put the camera down for a second. Going to squeeze this with both hands. Squeeze, turn, and you're back in business. I apologize for the video being blurry and jumping around a little bit. I just want to make this quick video on Ace Flex because I've seen literally nothing out there. And some of you guys might have had questions. Have a nice day.